Uh, for me, feedback would be improved by being a lot more personal. So sometimes you do get feedback where it's just generic things, whereas really what you need is personal to you and the way you work as well, because obviously people work differently. This student uh, picked up on the importance of personalisation for effective feedback, and that was a point that Phil Race made back in 2009. He said, feedback needs to fit each student's achievement, individual nature and personality. Global ways of compiling and distributing feedback can reduce the extent of ownership that students take over the feedback they receive. So it's worth uh, looking at our feedback and really asking ourselves to what extent is this feedback personalised for that individual student? Mandatory feedback for your subjects. You should have to go and see them for feedback. It should be part of it. Making sure they elaborate and tell you where you can go to make it better instead of just picking up on what you've done wrong. This student seems to suggest that students should be required to seek feedback on their work. Now, Pickford suggests that student engagement with formative assessments might be picked up in the assignment brief for the final submission. She says, ask students to reflect on their feedback in their final submission and to tell you what they did with it in order to improve their work. One thing I would say is that with our essays, in my specific course, we can't show, show bits of work to the tutors, so the only feedback we get is when the essays get handed back to us. I feel as though if we could hand bits of it in before the essays got to be handed in, then we wouldn't have as much feedback and we wouldn't, we wouldn't have as much to do to rectify our mistakes. How can students get helpful, formative feedback if there are no pre-submission opportunities to share their ideas with a tutor? Are there issues here of equity or potential tutor-student collusion if work is commented on at a formative stage? I'd like to get more feedback from a variety of people rather than just one, because it seems to be just from one tutor at the minute for this year, and it'd be nice to hear what everybody else thought as well. Obviously, managing feedback from multiple tutors would be very resource-intensive and it would make turnaround times even more difficult to achieve. So perhaps we can actually do something instead with the peer-to-peer -peer feedback. More one-to-one, -one, but obviously in our course there's a lot of people. Our course is quite big, so it's hard. It'd obviously be hard for them to do one-to-one, -one, but being able to talk to someone about your work would be better, I think. So this student doesn't seem to consider written feedback to be one-to-one -one or personal feedback. Uh, maybe he'd feel more comfortable with uh, audio feedback. Just general, like, I don't know, for me, on our course, uh, general sort of communication with students needs to be improved because my personal experience recently of our course is that um, I've actually had to go back into first year, which I wasn't aware I'd had to do. So I think just in general on our course, like, communication to students needs to be better because I've ended up having to retake the year when I didn't think I'd have to do that. The most interesting aspect of this comment, I think, is that the student had not picked up from her feedback that she might be in danger of repeating the year. How do we communicate this when feedback is given often by separate tutors across a range of modules? How does your course bring personal tutors into the feedback loop, for example? One of my assignments over summer got a really high grade in it. I got like 76%, which is really good. But then the feedback was so minimal I actually thought to myself, this was one of the worst essays I've ever written in my life. How did it get so good? Like, how did it like, get such a good mark? And it really baffled me. So maybe going into more depth with like, what the feedback actually means. Some people suggest that feedback should be, or tends to be, even more detailed on weaker work. This student has highlighted the importance of helping students also to see what's good about their work so that they can go on to improve it even further. It's better to praise exactly what was very good or excellent in a little bit more detail rather than take the shortcut of just using the adjectives themselves. I was always in trouble with reading their feedback. Like a few lecturers put comments by using computers, but most, most lecturers give me a feedback by handwriting. And uh, to be honest, their handwriting is very difficult to read it, unclear. So it's a bit confusing.